Cut on scale, guys. Next is here, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, we're back on the grind again. We got another weapon to review, obviously, with new content from Season of the Dawn. Brought back tons of new weapons, and one of the weapons we're going to be doing is going to be an old D1 weapon, or old D2 weapon that's been brought back from the Curse of Osiris DLC. I mean, literally, that name DLC is a curse. It's like Voldemort's name. I shouldn't say it. But yeah, it came from that DLC, and it's called the Infinite Paths 8. To get this one, you basically got to get the obelisk on the EDZ. Now, I know a lot of people, <laughs> the EDZ. EDZ is kind of bugged for them in terms of the obelisk. How I got it to work is just keep logging in or keep going into different areas, load into a different area, come back and stuff like that because it is bugged and Bungie are working on it. But, but to get this, you just need a link from the EDZ obelisk, obviously, for the Sundial. And once you complete the Sundial, you get a random roll of this weapon. But speaking of random rolls, without further ado, let's go in and see what the infinite paths has got. Infinite Paths 8. They sowed the first and now reaped the last. Forever narrows to a line where the light will fade into the past. When all is converted, nothing shines. But yeah, this is 450 RPM, so lightweight frame, obviously super handling, move faster with this weapon equipped. We got full bore, which greatly increases range, decreases stability, slightly decreases handling speed, or it could go for polygonal rifling, which obviously increases my stability. For the magazine, I got accurized rounds, which increases my range, or it could go for steady rounds, which greatly increases stability, but will decrease range too. For the trait, we got Genesis, breaking a combatant shield with this weapon, fills this magazine from reserves. Energy weapons regenerate ammo and hit when matching the damage type to the combatant shield. And last but not least, we're gonna have the trait Zen Moment, causing damage with this weapon increases stability and i will have a masterwork 10 range so this is pretty much the max range roll full bore with accurized and also range masterwork i've got the range i've got all the range i need You'll see on the screen now, though, obviously the different types of rolls and stuff you can get. I mean, in terms of double perks here, mine's more of a PvE slash PvE. It's a mix between them. Genesis is obviously is PvE. Without a doubt, it's a PvE roll sort of trait. But the Zen moment will be really nice, especially for 450s or pulses. It's going to be super sweet on the L console. I don't know about PC because there's no recoil and stuff. This was the original roll, though, for the Infinite Path set. You'll see it had three barrel attachments, so Arrowhead or Corkscrew or even Full Bore. Alloy Magazine, Accurized Rounds, or even Drop Mag, and Dragonfly. So you'll see, the roll it used to have wasn't the most like amazing roll in the world, but it had great handling, so that's why people used to love it. But yeah, that is the roll I've got on my Infinite Parts. Max Strange, we're going to see what this bad boy can do. So without further ado, let's go into some Crucible and try the Infinite Parts out. Okay, so we're going to be on Solitude with the Infinite Parts. First of all, this is what it's going to look like. And, oh, that's some uh, pretty fast ADS and stuff like that, but... It is going to look pretty sweet, like the infinite parts itself, and it fires super quick too. It's a really sweet looking pulse and everything though. As I said, a lot of people used to use this a lot, but I'm, like, this is like a lot of people's main weapons back in the Osiris DLC. Or the, oh, the, the DLC that shall not be named, but there, we're going to kill off that guy. Is there a dude up here? There he is. Oh, 25-ish damage. Oh, we are shredding some people. Oh, okay, how is this guy still alive? I do not know. <laughs> but yeah, we are getting some kills, and that guy's dead. Do we hit someone? I think I just threw a grenade off the map, but you'll see it fires super quick. It's a really cool looking ADS and everything as well. There's a lot of things going for this 450s and stuff, and I am so dead. Because the stupid arc grenade just keeps on going if someone's hooking you. But you can see it fires rapidly. I mean, 450s are always sort of like that. They fire super fast, and that's what you want. The only thing is, as it's like with the range and stuff, they can run out of, like, obviously they have a lot of fall off, generally speaking. Just because they are 450s and stuff, but... You'll see, when you're getting the damage in, it's 25, so if you think about it, it's obviously 200 HP. This has swashbuckler and stuff, which obviously would increase the damage and stuff if you get a 205 stack. I don't have it, but you'll see the Zen moment is really good. I mean, these, because they fire so fast, when it comes to console, these, these can kick. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, the, the 450s are real big kickers on the L console and stuff. So getting a roll is a moment, this is gonna help out like really well, but you'll see, I'm getting a lot of kills. Like, there is the range though. You'll see, we're not that far away, but the scouts are kicking our ass. That is the one thing about 450s is that they, uh, they're in an archetype that when it comes to range and stuff, it's not that they're bad or anything, but they will uh, struggle at the L range encounters. Can, can we just, can we just like, I don't know, one v one each other, guys? Can we not just keep on like teaming up together? I mean, come on, who plays FPS in the team? <laughs> and I'm missing every shot, but we'll get a kill. I'm, <laughs> I don't know how. I'm not dead, but we're surviving. Oh my god, what the? What is this? If I kill clip, I just like destroy everyone. Oh, he's so dead. <laughs> oh my god. The Annihilation! Oh, okay! You'll see the rapid fire. We're just shredding dome skis. Okay, thank you for getting him. But you'll see, it's when it comes to range, I'm hitting 24-ish, but I do have the max range on. So I, I generally expect to be hitting those shots. If I'm not hitting that range, ah, uh, god, that would be just really, really annoying. But we're gonna pop a bubble. And uh, let's see what the damage is like. Hey, oh, oh my god, I'm so weak already. Uh, could you, no, no. No, no one take my flag, okay? Come on, did it heal? Did it heal? Did it heal? There's just so much people. Can we just 34 damage? Okay, 34 damage for a dome. 
So that's generally speaking just a bit lower than what Swashbuckler will give. So Swashbuckler probably gives you about 33 ish, I'd say. We'll get this guy. Oh! Oh! There we go. No scope. Give me weapons before it runs out. Uh. But we're actually doing pretty well with this. This is actually a really sweet pulse. 33 damage though, so. You'll see the damage is just insane for it. There's a guy behind me. I got weapons though, buddy. You're challenging it. How do I lose? Oh, nice name as well. Oh, I lost to that. Oh, God, that was embarrassing. I had weapons and everything, but 33 damage is really sweet. As I said, the swashbuckler is, it's swashbuckler by five is like a minuscule. It's like a beast dick, so it's like one or two damage lower than usually them. But multi kill clip by two gives you, and multi kill clip by two is basically what a fresh stack of weapons of light will give you. So if you do the math on that, wep or the swashbuckler would be about, by when it's out of five, it'll be about 30 ish damage, 32 ish, if I do, if I am correct anyway. You'll see though, like, it does actually shred. 25 damage is nothing to, like, like scoff about. It's that's so much damage a recluse does, but obviously, recluse does when it's proc that master of arms, and that's obviously 900 RPM. It's like double this. It literally is double this. That's how stupid that gun is. Got right here though, come on, we'll get his dome ski. Come on, there we go. Whew. Just, it's just, I love the amount of bullets it can actually shoot. 450. It's an archetype. Obviously, I like my heavier hitting ones. But it's definitely an archetype that's really sweet because it bodes well, even if you're not hitting every single shot. It, it just means you can rapid hit it. Like, you can rapid fire at people. And obviously, the side on it, uh, oh, yeah, the side on it is the only sight you get. So, if you don't like it, tough titties. But, like, look at that. He gets absolutely shredded and destroyed. Get these guys, though. Oh, two shotgun noobs. <laughs> oh, my God, I got killed from the side. But it, that's even what it's really good for as well is that... It's sort of a, it's a pulse that goes really well at mid-range, and it can handle it up close. I think range is the one thing that this thing's going to struggle with. The 450s always have. They're going to struggle with the range shots, especially with the relevance of uh, the old uh, scout rifles and stuff like that. So you'll see a lot of people using scouts nowadays. So it makes sense why you want to get range rolls for these and stuff like that, especially when you're going for range shots like this one. Like, I mean, I wasn't too far away there, but even there, that's, that's not too far. I mean, the range actually, as I said, I do have a lot of range stats on this, so... Realistically, I am liking it, but this is where it goes in clutch. Like, look at that. Up close. No problems and no sweat for the L, uh, whatever it's called. Infinite Pots. I don't forget the name already. We'll get this guy, though, real quick. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, and then we're dead. Oh, uh, guys, they better not beat us. We were in control for so long, and I've actually been doing well with this. So, I'm not losing this game. I am liking using the 450s, though. I think they're an archetype of uh, pulse rifles that are actually... They're really good in the like in certain situations and stuff. We'll try to get this guy. I only did 26 damage. Can you? Can this guy stop? Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, we need to put up a wall. I'm so screwed. Come on, try to punch me. Try to punch me. Come on, let's do it, buddy. Come on. <laughs> Team shots. Get this guy though. Look at that. But yeah, the 450s are a lot of fun to use in terms of they fire rapidly quick. They can do a ton of damage. And it just, it means you're not screwed when you get caught up close because they fire so fast. 34 kills altogether though, 3.4. I always die exactly 10 times. Doesn't matter what I do. I die 10 times. But me and Ziddy, the 34 kills. I mean, the infinite parts, man. It's actually a lot of fun and it's really effective. Alrighty, time for some PvEing and stuff like that. Obviously, this has Genesis on it, which will help out. Who we get? We're going to score and I'm using Arc. And oh, uh, is that a match? It may be a match, depending on what captains I get and stuff. But yeah, this Genesis obviously is going to... There, oh, there's the arc and stuff. You'll see my... Like, I got plus 11. Basically, because I have an arc weapon, I took out an arc shield. Genesis gave me all my bullets back that I wasted on him. Genesis is a really... It's just a PvE roll. I mean, it doesn't work. It's... I don't even... It doesn't even work in PvP. I know the shields, but I don't know if it even works in PvP. But yeah, it's it's more PvE oriented, which is fine. I mean, so it's good. it's nice to have uh, perks that work really well in PvE and PvP. I mean, there should be a difference between the two. <coughs> Recluse, <coughs> mountaintop, <coughs> every pinnacle freaking crucible reward that's really good in PvE. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> the infinite parts is fine. So yeah, when it comes to rolls for PvE, you're probably going to be looking more like Genesis um, Swashbuckler. Definitely any sort of damage increasing perks are going to be super sweet. So yeah, Genesis is really just... Or Swashbuckler and Genesis is really the role you're going to be looking for. So, like, I can take out a shield, I get them weak, and then I can, if I want to, I can go up and punch them, get swashbuckled by 20 or 5 stack, which obviously is super sweet and everything. This also comes with the Demolitionist perk as well, so if you want to get, like, a solid build for PvE as well, you can use Demolitionist and Swashbuckler together, so just keep on throwing grenades, instant reloading, getting tons of kills with them, kill people with the weapon, get some more grenade energy and all that sort of stuff, which is going to be a great combination and everything. But yeah, I, I am slightly surprised, though, because I obtained this from the Obelisk, I was thinking maybe I might get a roll with a uh, powerful weapon and stuff. 
It doesn't roll with any of the new perks. None of the Season of the Dawn perks, or those sorts of perks, roll on this. Which is really weird because it is a Season of the Dawn weapon in terms of it has the emblem and stuff beside it. Alrighty, so we're at Primeval Time and stuff like that. Obviously, this is Ark, so when it comes to the shield and stuff, you see it will reload my magazine, but because... Oh my god, that's a top blade. But yeah, you will see that Genesis works twofold. Obviously, you get the... Obviously, you get the, like, Genesis perk if you have the same element and stuff like that. You'll be able to deal with shields and, like, to obviously reload your magazine. You get all the bullets back. But if you are dealing with shields like this, I'll, I'll get my magazine fully back. It won't obviously replenish it. It'll just take it from reserves. So that's the only difference between it. That's why it would have been super cool to get a Genesis and the Osmosis perk together. That would have just been a really good combination. And that's kind of freaking hammerhead. Okay, we need to take out this big boy though. Come on, let's start doing damage. Give me that fire line, boys. And there we go. Whew. Alrighty, so we're going to be on console with the same infinite parts, but this time with 10 moments. It should be a lot more. Oh my god, how's he here already? Okay, okay, there's a lot of people here, but this should be a lot more like. Uh, it should be a lot more useful and stuff, and there's a guy behind us as well. <laughs> How oh, are they sneaking up so fast? What is this? But yeah, the Zen moment will be a lot more useful on console and stuff because I think stability is the main sort of thing people go for when it's on a uh, console and stuff because obviously when you haven't got stability and you're missing lots of shots, it can go pretty bad, but there is a free kill. And my radar is just all over the place. What the hell did my radar is just not it's non existent? What is this? There we go, thank you. I almost got you. Did it did a hunter dodge roll me or something? We are hitting so many people, but I'm just not getting kills. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> Who took it? I need the healing regen. I need that help. But yeah, if I want to, I've got a ton of stability things. Like, I've got steady rounds. I've got, um, I think I have smooth bore. Or not smooth bore. Uh, whatever. The <laughs> fluted barrel. I think I have that barrel if I mention that or whatnot. So I do have stability and everything. It's just that uh, I don't need. I don't really need that much more when you got that moment. That's the thing. So for like a roll on console, you're better off just getting a roll. That can like it can do everything. Oh, there's a free kill. I mean, I can do everything in terms of range. I can do everything in terms of stability because of Zen moment and stuff. So I think overall, I've just got a, like a decent roll for a uh, console. Oh my god, it's my person. There's another person. Another person. Another person. And he is so weak. Hey, buddy, can you just come here for a sec? Hey, oh, there we go. Vampires caress. Give me that help, your jet. Uh, 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 and we lost to a breach light man. But again, you'll see the infinite pots ain't bad at all. 450, lots of bullets, a lot more. <laughs> Need to be a lot more accurate in terms of like if I start missing the dome and stuff, it can go pretty bad. What did that just bounce off a wall? No, they don't bounce. Do they? I don't think. Does that knife bounce? I don't think it does. But, uh, unless he's just lagging like hell. And there's a guy with a shotgun. Oh my god. Nice trade. Yeah, we need to just get like a bunch of more kills. Look at that. The tree burst. Man, when you get a tree burst like this, it's actually pretty dang sweet. Look at this guy as well, though. Oh, your teammate screwed you over so bad, buddy. I mean, you were you were home and dry. You were you were already putting the Christmas stocking up. You were gone. And all of a sudden your teammate just absolutely screwed you. Uh, what the Okay, <laughs> no idea how I didn't kill him quicker, but you know what we're getting so many more kills now Yeah, it's just you got to get used to that stability. It does kick. I'm not gonna lie It does somewhat kick, but once you get the Zen moment going in and stuff, it starts to be a lot better Oh, no, no, I ran out of bullets. We need to get the right engagement though What I do like about this pulse is that like on most maps I think that we have pretty much the right engagement like you can see there We just shredded two guys. I think realistically this weapon is a beautiful weapon for the L mid range this guy and a shoulder charge man, okay Sometimes, I don't know what happens to people, they just don't even try to stop, but we'll get this- No! Oh! Uh, oh! I got suppressed! Oh, does he have the sho- does that thing suppress me now? Oh, it does, doesn't have the shoulder charge. Look at this guy though. Eh, hey, buddy, can you just show me your dome ski? There we go. We can't stick on, obviously, more civilian and everything for it as well. I mean, you've got a counterbalance mod, we got other sorts of mods and stuff you can use. We do have, obviously, as I said, the steady rounds and whatnot. You'll see, like, it does kick. I'm not denying that it won't kick with the Zen moment stuff. Oh, we just robbed that kill completely. But, like, you you can see the Zen moment makes such a big difference. Otherwise, I would not be getting as much edge loss. After the first shot, my aim would just be going everywhere. Like, I would not be hitting these shots and the freaking Twilight Garrison. At 450s, as I said, it does obviously bode well. It turns the damage. That's a grenade launcher. Can I get him? Oh, we got him. We got him. We got him blind. I feel like Stevie Wonder right now. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, I'm well. I thought I had a wall. I thought I had a freaking wall. That is... <laughs> that's a rip situation. But yeah, definitely instead of Genesis, I'd definitely go for something other than... Uh, for something else for PvP. I mean, there is obviously Demolitionist and whatnot. Can we... Oh, buddy, that is so unfortunate. Oh, you just got, like, the wedgie of a lifetime. It's, like, teasing you. You just got, like, basically cock-blocked right there. That is... 
That's uh, that's so bad. <laughs> he was just about to put the bubble down. I was like, nope. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, we have other plans. Oh, but like, we're still getting tons of damage, and you'll see. We are shredding a lot of people. I mean, I love. I am actually really liking this. I think this archetype, as I said, with the whole nerf to pulses and stuff in terms of range and everything, a lot of people stopped like using these. But they have such a good solid position and everything like that. I think they're really good pulls, especially on most maps that are. Generally, the maps are close to short range. Let's let's be real. There's not much long range maps, and if they are, they suck ass like the stock. But there is the victory. We'll get this guy an assist. Oh my god, we uh, we kind of crushed them. What do we get all together though? On console, 30 kills. We got the 3.0 again. 10 deaths. I literally, every game I play, I get exactly 10 deaths. It's it's what I do. Well, that's it for me and the infinite parts. Eight. Honestly, you'll see there. It's a super sweet weapon. As I said though, swashbuckler will be really interesting. You get about 30 ish per dome, which increases basically basically to the next archetype in terms of it makes it like a 340 pulse or a 390 pulse even. Which is a lot of damage and everything, but the infinite parts, if I break it down in terms of the, obviously the tree platforms. PvP on PC, I thought this was really good. You want to get those range stats, as I said. The Zen moments, probably sort of useless, and Genesis anyway for PvP. But for PC, that's sort of useless perks. You'd want to get like the swashbuckler, and also like demolitionist, or moving target, I'd say. Moving target is really good because when you're strafing it, it makes it a lot easier to hit domes and everything like that. For PvE, the role of is generally speaking a better role. Obviously, the range doesn't matter too much in PvE, but Genesis is such a good perk, especially because this is an energy weapon, so obviously. Dealing with arc enemies, super nice. Or even a shield disorient would be really good to pair with Genesis. That's actually a super cool combination. Shield disorient and Genesis. And then for PvP on console, again, this was more of a PvP console role. Apart from Genesis, as I said, it wasn't PvP, but the Zen was super good for it. It makes it so much steadier. I think console, obviously, there's tons of recoil, especially the higher archetypes you go up in terms of, obviously, RPM. With this high RPM, it was easy to deal with. The Zen moment made it like laser in. If you do have Zen, it means you can go for those ranged roles, because a lot of people, when they're seeking, they'll be like, oh, stick on the steady rounds. Like, you can see, I can get the stability up quite a lot. Like, I've got polygonal and steady. But the thing is, my range drops up by quite a lot. So that's why I'd be like, generally speaking, if you get Zen, you can ignore these sorts of steady rounds, like all that sort of stuff, and just stick with the range. But regardless, if you liked the video, try us a like, and if you want to see more content, subscribe, fantastic day, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.